Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase a simple program in JavaFX where we have a moving sprite or a moving image using an image view. So, as you can see here on the screen, I have a simple running basic application, which is just an anchor pane containing my image view, which in this case have this picture of a running man. And I can then move him using WASD. And the setup is actually quite simple. I have a few elements. I have my anchor pane, I have my image view, and then have a movement controller, which is a Java class I have created myself, which we're going to go through shortly. And then very simply, whenever our scene and our runner has been initialized, so we're using this initialize implement, this interface from JavaFX, and then override it. And that simply makes when the scene and the runner is loaded, we call our movement controller that make movable on our runner and our scene. So make the runner movable on the scene, which is basically how it works in JavaFX, where we have this hierarchy where everything is connected to each other. But if we have a closer look at the movement controller, it simply works in the way that we have all Boolean properties, which simply checks if W is pressed, A is pressed, S is pressed, or D is pressed then have like a boolean binding which simply means looking at all of them together so if anything is pressed move which is what's going to be happening later on so if anything is pressed move if nothing nothing is pressed don't move we then how have how much we're moving we then take in our image view and our angle pane we then have them make movable which simply takes our sprite image view and add it to this local variable inside the movement controller same thing for the angle pane then call a movement setup method which simply just binds on the scene the key pressed for WASD or key release for WASD to simply these boolean properties. For example when we have scene dot set on key pressed whenever any event is pressed we check this this event if the key code is W we then have our W dot set to true or W pressed which is this boolean property. We then using the Boolean binding, the key press, so whenever something is pressed, so we add a listener, so whenever this turns true, we end up starting the timer, which is an animation timer, which simply goes through, so now we know that something is pressed, we then have for if statements, simply checking what is pressed, and depending if we are pressing W, for example, we then move our sprite in the layout direction on Y, based on some simple math. Set layout y so change its y position to its current y position minus the amount we would like to move every frame which is our movement variable so by doing this we simply have the possibilities to move stuff and this is also a bit more complicated with all these checks because it allows us to move in two directions at the same time because i'm holding d i'm moving right a left is down w up but if i hold both down D and W, we're going to be moving diagonally. Because this way it's set up, it simply checks as long as something is pressed, move in the direction of whatever is pressed, and we check on everything every time. So we can have multiple things pressed at the same time, which also means I can press D and A and we start moving. But this is just some basic mathematics, actually, where we're using the basic ordinate system, which is kind of built in JavaFX move stuff so this is a simple setup where we just have an anchor pane and an image view let me just showcase inside scene builder our anchor pane our image view and we then simply use my movement controller to make this image view movable and that's pretty much it another thing that's actually very important to know is that inside the main application we need to set the scene scene dot get root dot request focus because we are using keyboard inputs we need to like activate the scene to make it a focused scene otherwise it's not gonna take these keyboard inputs so this line is actually very very important because if you add everything else and it doesn't work this is probably the reason why and I think I'm gonna leave this in the description as well because this is quite important Otherwise, I will also leave a link to the movement controller, which is the most, the main interesting thing. 
Otherwise, if you enjoyed this quick demonstration of showcasing how we can set up an application JavaFX where we can move a image view or a sprite, as you might say, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.